what is going on guys and welcome to my first video of 2020 it is a brand new year and we are going to be kicking it off with something fun now i've got my hands on a few pallets if you can see i've already chopped up some wood either side of me i'm going to run you through it on exactly how you can make your very own bench from pallets there's no other materials required apart from a handful of screws and the only tools you're going to need is a saw to cut the wood to size and a drill nothing else and i guarantee you this bench by the time we're finished building it will be strong enough to jump on that was quite a strong statement to make wasn't it <laughs> i have actually made these benches before and they've always been strong enough to stand on in fact i've got one just behind me that i made three years ago that i actually entered into a woodworking um, craft sort of competition and out of 26 handmade items my bench actually came in third place you can't ask better than that well no I suppose you could have asked for first or second place but I was more than happy with third <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself a pallet you might want to get a few pallets to account for any breakages that might occur when you actually take the slats off of normally the main beams of the pallet the way i break pallets uh, couldn't be easier honestly all i do is levy off a piece of pallet wood from the pallet and um, i use that as a lever to basically put in between each slat and then lift up to release the actual slat of wood now as you've seen from the bench i've just shown you that is the same design we're going to be doing today it could not be easier you practically need no carpentry skills no woodworking skills no skills at all to make this bench it is so easy and as you've seen that one's lasted for three years so you're probably wondering well how much wood am i going to need well that's a good question and it does depend entirely on the thickness of your wood because depending on the thickness will dictate how many times you need to keep layering more slats on to basically make your bench start to actually come out and turn into a bench so for me, I'm gonna go for about eight to 10 slats to do kind of like a smallish bench, just simply down to uh, my own lack of materials. You can of course continue adding slats and go all the way out. You can go six foot across and create yourself a pallet table. Guys, you've got a lot of freedom to play around with this design, um, but the basic principles make this bench super strong and very easy to put together. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is once you've got your first slat, providing it's around three to four feet, which is what mine is, um, that's gonna be the ideal seating height once you cut this in half. So all you're gonna need to do is measure this out and find the middle. The way I do it is I get two identical pieces of wood and I kind of roughly guess where the middle is going to be that's not going to be where we cut guys don't panic <laughs> and then i'll just make a very light indentation in the wood on both parts so one on the top and one on the underneath then all we need to do is flip that over and see how much we're out by so all we need to do is adjust this bringing it closer bringing the top piece closer to your initial line. And now that we've flipped it, the secondary line that was under here is on top and we basically want to keep maneuvering it until we actually find the center. It's just a really cool way to measure out a piece of wood if you haven't got a tape measure. And um, to be honest with you guys, I rarely use a tape measure. I kind of just use this method and uh, it does work. As you can see, I've done that with all nine slats and it works pretty well. Now it's not for precise cuts at all, guys. So don't use that method if you're planning on building something that's gonna be completely square, like a shed, for example. If you're just using pallets and you want kind of like a fun project, you don't necessarily need a tape measure by using that method. So like I say, depending on the thickness of your slats will dictate how many you need, but you can just keep going and stop whenever you feel you've reached the size of the bench that you want. Now, once these are cut, I've got six pieces cut in half, which gives me 12 legs. There's no extra support needed for this bench, guys. 
I might possibly cut another one in half just so we've got a fascia. I'll explain as we go on. Um, and then for the actual main bench that you're gonna be sitting on, a good rule of thumb that I like to use is to make your actual seat of the bench twice as long as it is high. So if your bench is two and a half feet off the ground, using five foot lengths to go across would be ideal. If you do want this to be a lot longer, you might wanna consider actually putting a, a third set of legs in the middle just to act as a support. But anything five feet or under won't require that and it will be more than strong. I'll show you how we do it. And all we're gonna do is lay down our piece of wood and then we're gonna put a secondary piece of wood here just to act as a support. And then we're basically gonna sit these in the corners. This is the point you might wanna use a set square in the corner just to make sure that this is not off. For me, I feel it's not necessary because it's just a simple pallet bench. So we've lined it up now as square as we possibly can get it and you can of course drill pilot holes i don't think we're going to need them all you're going to need is a screw that's slightly longer than your um, your actual slat of pallet wood just so it will bite into the second one and we're going to stagger the screws now it's quite important that you remember where the screw heads are and we, we've done them in this fashion so that when we add our next slat, instead of screwing straight through it and into the head of those screws, we're gonna go here and here through this piece. And then we'll remember where those are and then we'll just change it up and we'll go back to our original placement and we'll go here and here again. And then we'll just keep going until all the slats are on. So when we get to this stage of the build, um, as you can see on the end here, where the legs are, there's obviously the final slat and then a, a bit of a, a big ugly gap between the leg and the, the side of the seat. So what I like to do and what I've done on the other one is to fill that in. So if you can see on this corner, I've just put a finishing slat just on the face of it, on the front and the back and I think it really does square it off oh, and make it look really neat. So let's do that next. There you go guys see i told you it was easy <laughs> an optional thing you could do is between the slats at the bottom you could of course run a screw between them not all the way through to clamp it but just to sort of hold them together what i done on the other one i cut out just some additional pieces of wood from the same pallet that were two inches in height and then i just screwed each one of those to the next slat as I was layering all of the slats on. You would not be able to do this part of the process um, at the end, of course. 
because you're going to need a very long screw to run through them all. <laughs> so yeah, if you do want to add those, obviously add them. I'm not going to do it on the other bench because I may fix that to the inside wall of the shed or um, if it's going to go directly on top of the wood chip on the ground, um, it's obviously going to rot out either way. But it's just a, an additional bit of support if you want it. But as for a potting bench or something like that, or just somewhere to put some, uh, some pots of, of daffodil bulbs or tulips or something, it would look absolutely stunning. Can you jump on them? <laughs> I told you it was going to be easy. The strongest benches I can possibly tell you how to make with the minimal amount of tools and materials. If you are going to make a bench based on watching this video and you do, please share your images on Digging for Dinner, uh, either on Facebook or at Digging for Dinner on Instagram, and let me know so I can check out your version of this bench. Thank you very much for watching, guys. All links in the description and more videos and links to support the channel. Um, over here. So thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you soon.